Hey everybody, I'm deboning, trimming and cleaning elk meat, so come on in. Deboning and trimming your game meat really is easy, but it is tedious. You're simply pulling the meat off the bone and trimming away anything that isn't meat. I have a small front quarter here from the year and a half old cow elk that I harvested over the weekend. I'm gonna take my knife, run it into the meat, and we're gonna follow the contour of the bone. Since we're gonna grind the majority of this elk and mix it into sausage, I'm not at all concerned with the integrity of each cut. I just wanna remove the meat from the bone. You can see I have some bloodshot meat where the bullet grazed the front shoulder. You want to take your knife and trim that off immediately. And you're left with a semi-clean piece of meat underneath. Then you can take your knife and just skim the rest of that uh, silver skin or connective tissue off of your meat. And just drop it in the container with the rest of the meat to be ground benefit of having the thin blade is you can pick up that tissue like this and literally trim that. You're reaching in there, you're finding those bones, putting your knife in there and following that all the way down. And you should be able to essentially Peel that meat right off of the shoulder blade. Most of the professional meat processors don't have time to pick every last piece of fat, silver skin, connective tissue off your animal. They're dealing with 20, 30, hundreds of animals. So I'll literally take every last piece of white non-meat substance that I can off of that meat. I can't tell you how many times I've had people say, I can't eat venison. It has a gamey taste. If you simply take the time to cut away all the silver skin, the connective tissue, and the fats from your meat, you're gonna cut down on what most people would say is the gamey flavor. And another piece into the grind pile. If you're in the field, make sure you get that meat deboned or quartered as soon as possible. Hang it from a tree, get it chilled, get it on ice, get it into a refrigerator. I need to get back to trimming meat, but I hope that this video encourages you to take better care of your meat and to really take your trimming and cleaning seriously. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Also, check out my website. I'm at RockyMountainMeatHunter.com and please buy one of these cool aprons, one of my hats or my t-shirts and help to support me. And until next time, this is the Rocky Mountain Meat Hunter saying praise the Lord and pass the elk.